Welcome to the Circle of Pekka, and I'm Lady Marks. Well, it's that time of the year in the Southern Hemisphere when uh, things start to heat up. We start to, to see the, the birds flying and the sounds of the birds, animals coming out and uh, starting to get a little bit warmer, the blue sky. And uh, we start to, to take a few clothes off and because it's kind of warm, especially in Perth, it's, it's really, really gets quite warm in Perth. We don't necessarily have a, uh, a long spring, it's usually a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of winter and then a little bit of spring and then summer, like until the end of time. But um, it, uh, it gets really, really hot here. So, um, so this time of the year uh, is, is just when everything starts to, to speed up a little bit more and uh, you have a little bit of you know, the quickening. Uh, and uh, so you start to think about love. So love spells. That's the thing that lots of people uh, look for. I think when you, when you do a search on what are the most popular things that uh, people ask for when it comes to spells, um, right up there is love spells. Uh, then I think is uh, protection spells, maybe some revenge spells, if the love didn't go quite uh, according to plan. And uh, we also have money spells. So they're kind of the, the top three. And uh, so love is, is on you know, most people's minds most of the time, as it is one of the, the, uh, the most sought after spells. Like, can you, know, can you make him love me? Or you know, he's straying, so can you make him uh, want me even more? Or whatever it may be. And uh, so this is the time of love. This is the time that love spells start to, start to come out a little bit because uh, people are, are searching for love. Now, when I'm talking about uh, love spells, lots of people have their, their own code of ethics and their own um, ideas of whether you should cast a spell um, in general or whether you should cast a love spell or not cast a love spell. Do you cast a love spell on someone or do you cast a spell on yourself? There are different uh, ways of thinking about this. And ultimately, with any spell, it's up to you. You have to understand what the consequences of that spell are going to be. And when I say consequences, most people think, oh, bad, bad, bad. No, it is, it is good and it's bad. It's whatever is going to happen um, or is going to be played out because of that spell. And uh, uh, you have to be ready for that. So the, it's been said that uh, the, uh, getting what you want isn't hard. It's knowing what you want is the hardest thing. So with a love spell, a lot of people seek that outer uh, love or I want him to love me or I want her to love me or, or whatever it may be. And uh, because they, they're seeking love, they want love and they're looking at it on an, an, an outer respect. They're not thinking of it as um, they've got a hole in themselves that they want to fill and so they're filling it with something on the outer, they're filling it with people, you know, they're filling it with, um, you know, with food sometimes, they're filling it with, with something, something that they want and they, they feel like they're lacking and they, they uh, lack love so uh, I'm going to go and uh, do a love spell because I'm feeling unloved. Now uh, that's fine but when you when you think about spells in general, a spell is only going to be as good as you believe it's going to be. And when I say that, it is if you ultimately, deep down, do not believe that you deserve love or uh, that you believe that you're unlovable, uh, any of those things, then your love spell will not work. You know, it may work initially. You may get that person to, to uh, be infatuated with you or, or uh, uh, start to talk to you or, or you know, whatever. But if you don't believe that you deserve them or deserve love in general, then your spell is not going to, to stay. It's not going to hold. It's not going to be fixed. It's going to fizzle out. So with any spell, you have to 
know deep down that you deserve it, that it is, it is something that is for you. You have to uh, have that mindset that what you are going to uh, manifest with this spell is something that you deserve to have. And I don't mean that is it in a cocky ego kind of way. Uh, I mean that you have to reprogram your subconscious to say that you deserve this. And if you've had uh, years and years and years of programming to say that you're not worthy of love, you're not, uh, you're not worth it, you're not, uh, you know, no one loves you, you know, you're unlovable, all of those sorts of things, then you have to break through that that programming and, and reprogram yourself and sometimes that takes a little bit of time and a little bit of work so it's not going to be one spell that is going to do do everything it may mean that you do a, a series of spells a series of work a series of, of shadow work as well as um, you know, we'll say light work as in um, doing proactive things once once you've opened up some of those um, those say wounds um, and you've had a little bit of a look and you've had a little bit of a um, che uh, check it out and you've made sure that there's, there's no pus in it. So, uh, we're talking about love and, and pus, that's not, that's not work. Um, but you've, you've gone, you've looked at all those um, wounds, now you need to put some positive things in there. You need to, you know, you, you've, you've taken something away, you've worked it out, you've looked at it, you've maybe assimilated it into yourself. Now you need to work positively so that you can reinforce the, the positivity of that. You reinforce the, the integration so that it actually starts to move forward instead of uh, you just re-going through those old programs again. So knowing what you want and believing what you what you want is something that you uh, should and will get. Uh, now there's also the the idea of doing a love spell and doing it on someone else and there is that old adage all's, all's fair in love and war. So there are some schools of thought that will say that you shouldn't put a spell on anyone else, uh, you shouldn't put a spell on anyone unless they know about it, um, or there's also the all's fair in love and war. So, you know, fair game, whatever you want to do. And again, it's up to you. It's up to your code of ethics. It's up to your uh, working out what you can and can't do. And uh, um, you know, magic is going to go in the path of least resistance. So if you believe that um, you're fine with that, then that's it's going to happen. If you believe that you're, something's going to go wrong um, because you're manipulating someone, then um, again, you know, it's going to happen. Uh, whatever you believe will happen. You just have to think, uh, think mindfully. And I think my, my main uh, gist of most of my videos is think things through a little bit more before you just go and let emotion take you on this big roller coaster ride. Uh, think through your actions. Look at, your, look at uh, the result of your spell from all angles, not just the I've got what I want um, angle. When you're doing a spell on someone else and you've got that all fair in love and war, uh, just also be mindful of uh, if you had um, someone, to, if the tables were turned, say, and someone did a spell on you, that uh, manipulated them, manipulated you to uh, falling in love and having a relationship with someone that you wouldn't normally do, and you, you know, ultimately, deep down, don't really love them, but you feel compelled to because of the spell. Would you not feel, uh, let's say, I mean, violated may be a bit harsh but wouldn't you feel wouldn't you feel not very happy about the the prospect of, of finding out that you've been manipulated uh, and uh, I have found in in the past that many people have, have no qualms with uh, putting a spell on someone else and getting them to say you know, a love spell on someone else um, and getting them to fall in love with them but you, know, you do it you know, if that happens to you it's like, oh no, no, they can't do any spells on me. No, 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 that's not how it works. You know, I'm going to go and put a spell on you. How, how dare you put magic on me? Um, so, 
if you can't, uh, if you would not want to happening to you, then you shouldn't actually deal it out yourself. So there's you know, something to think about as well. Uh, the other thing when you're doing a love spell, just remember, um, you know, careful what you wish for because you just might get it. So again, thinking it through. This person that you are putting your love spell on, how well do you know them? Is it just the fact that you, you might like them and they may not even know you from a bar of soap and then suddenly you're, you know, you're the, the best thing since sliced cheese? Uh, or when you've, when you've performed this spell and now this person loves you and wants you and, and can't get enough of you but it means that you can't go into a, a, a separate room within the house or the apartment because they have to be with you all the time. They need to know who you're with, who you're talking to, they need to know, uh, um, be with you every single second of the day. They, they call you, they text you, you know, to the point where it is stifling and it is uh, strangling you. And uh, the thing is that that's what you wished for. You've gone, oh, don't, they want to think about me all the time and they must be with me and want me and yearn for me and you know, they, can't, they can't live without me. Well, that's exactly what you've, you've gotten. You've gotten someone who thinks about you, can't live without you, must be with you all, you know, all the time, 24-7. And then you're like, oh, no, I don't want that anymore. You know, that's, you know, that's stifling. That's, you know, no, 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 no. But that's what you've uh, asked for in the spell. So think about what it is that you're doing. All the time, think about what it is you're doing. Now, love spells. Doing it on someone else, or maybe doing it on yourself. So when we're talking about uh, reprogramming, reprogramming la, 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 la. when we're talking about reprogramming your subconscious, there's that that takes some time, that takes a little bit of uh, um, working on. And uh, doing a spell on yourself to, to up your self-esteem, make you feel a bit, bit better about yourself. Because again, when you're doing a love spell and you're, don't, you don't actually like yourself, you don't think that you're worthy of love, you're doing a love spell on someone, what are you actually bringing to that relationship? You are, you are hooking and reeling someone in with the, with the use of magic, but you've got nothing to, to go with. You've got, you've got no, um, so you've got no communication, you've got no actual real uh, uh, connection. Uh, you, you yourself don't actually like yourself so you're not bringing anything to this partnership at all um, and unless you're continually working on that spell to keep that, that spell uh, active and alive this person is going to leave and I'm all doom and gloom here but uh, if you're working on yourself it is that as within so without so if you are radiating uh, let's say radiating or vibrating on the range of of love you love yourself you have filled that hole that you that you have that you think that needs to be filled with love you're filling it yourself you're filling it with your own self-esteem your own love for yourself and not in an egotistical way in, in a way that you're happy with yourself you like yourself you you can sit in a room by yourself and be content um, there are many people that cannot sit in a room by themselves. They must have some kind of interaction because they ultimately do not like themselves and they can't stand their own company. So this is about cultivating a relationship with yourself, actually liking yourself and being, being, um, being comfortable with yourself. And uh, it's not going to be an instant spell. It is going to be something that is worked on and cultivated because you want to, uh, you're going to be with yourself for the rest of your life. So you might as well like yourself and love yourself. So this spell that I'm about to, to show you is a, uh, is a water, a bath spell. It is about uh, reinforcing and and bringing back a little bit of self-esteem it can be used for male and female it's not uh, 
It's not uh, just uh, focused at, at women, uh, but it is about loving yourself and bringing back your self-esteem. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Blessed be. To have the shadow, to be able to define the contours of a face in a photograph. If you didn't have that black, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. And, and on the other side, if you didn't have the white, you wouldn't be able to have that, uh, the light to be able to see those, those um, shadows and those 